Nandulal was so immersed with Notir Puja that he again did this at Baroda's Kirti Mandir, but this time in altogether a different technique. Episodes from Chondalika, Tagore's other dance drama on a Buddhist theme, also finds visual depiction on the walls of the China Bhavun, in a single panel by Nondolal's versatile colleague, Vinayak Masuji. Completely different in style, outlook and composition from these Buddhist murals stands the wonderful mural of campus life viewed through a number of motifs loosely strung together on the first floor of the building by Binod Bihari. Here the image of some monks and scholars poring over books or dozing in their seats A group of art students take their lesson from a brooding teacher sitting a little apart. The painter himself, as we recognize from his self-portraits of the time. This loose structuring at once set this mural apart from that on the same subject by his master. Seen again now. Whereas Nandalal presents an idyllic view of man, animal, plants and flowers in a balanced rhythm. Binod Bihari gives us a more indulgent view. 
in a detached manner, marked by a gentle sense of humour, juxtaposing, as it were, the trivial and the serious. Vinod Bihari's mural in the Hindi Bhavan in Shantiniketan, his next and most acclaimed achievement revolving around the life of the medieval saints. The verses of Kabir, Tulsidas and Surdas, three masters of medieval Hindi literature quoted by Vinod Bihari in the mural underline the twin roles of the bhakti saints as agents of social and literary change and the large vision of life he perceived in their deeds and writings is expressed in the mural through the visual trope of a moving human procession This is the most acclaimed of all Shantiniketan murals. Vinod Bihari's finest achievement in this form and the most complex of all narrative paintings attempted by an Indian artist. The entire mural was improvised directly on the wall in the fresco buono technique, but he made numerous drawings for this. After this, the movement appears to have lost momentum, though murals continued as an educational program. The technique of fresco buono imposes a constraint because of piecemeal work since it is not possible to work on more than two square feet within a day. 
and the technique consists of painting with lime resistant colors on damp lime plaster that is plaster which has not yet set the plaster can only be painted on in this stage consequently the painter divides his work into so called day pieces At Kolabhavan, we see various experiments in mural making. Vinod Bihari himself moved out of Shantiniketan with failing eyesight but finally returned in 1957 by then completely blind determined to remain creative he began making paper cuttings working entirely from his internalized sense of shape volume and movement reminiscent of the late works of the great french master matisse out of such explorations over many years he set on an ambitious program of transforming the cuttings into a large mural which eventually resulted in 1972 in a 6 by 60 feet mural this mural by shomnath hor essentially a graphic artist is rather interesting he took technical cues from binod bihari and started working on the mural this one is also by shomnath hor on the northern wall of the graphic studio this 6 feet by 9 feet piece is a cameo of village life rendered in light and bright hued mosaic tiles another outstanding muralist of shantiniketan is kg subramanian his involvement with murals dates back to his student days and still working and finding new ways in mural making A mural grows out of the wall with mutual relations to the architecture and the environment. These murals by K G Subramaniam where the entire building is painted in black on a distempered white wall are fine examples of that. The mural thus lends distinction to an otherwise characterless building. It is in this vein that one has to turn one's eyes to the very intimate domestic art of alpona or floor decoration with rice flour practiced as a daily ritual in homes across Bengal so close to Nandalal's heart a transient extension of murals 
in its own way. Transient, yes, for the floor is shortly cleaned up. But only to be decorated all over again, eternal then. This is the wonderful world of the art of Shantiniketan, with the grand sculptures of Ram Kinkar in its own style of architecture, where a mere tea room, Dinantika, or the day's end, christened by the poet, adores Nandolal's murals and the resplendent Upashana Griho or prayer hall, still echoing with the Vedic chants, all breathing in the air of those days. Bajepo 